Hey guys, it's Talomic here with DB Academy and today I want to take a quick look at using classic breaks, a few ways I use classic breaks and some tips that I've got. So, I've got this kick and snare taken from the DMB uh, 147, uh, DMB Academy, sorry, 174 Marathon Pack. It's a mouthful, got that out in the end. Uh, literally just a standard kick and snare. Turn that kick down a bit. Cool, no processing on any of that. Uh, and then I've got a couple of classic breaks here. This is the flow break, and then the think break. Boom, everyone's heard them before. Uh, so we'll start with the, let's start with the think. So the first thing I've done is cut this down so that it's exactly one bar's worth of, of audio. just as it's easier to work with um, and we're going to take that and just length sort sort the length there we go so that one bar of audio actually fits to one bar in our project I'm just going to change it to repitch so if I'd left it normally on complex or even on beats mode it sounds fine but a lot of older samplers used to basically pitch up the audio if you sped it up and so a lot of the kind of tone and characteristic that we're used to with drum bass comes from those pitched up breaks you'll recognize it just from that shout there i would expect and we could leave it like that let's mute that one that's fine but if i consolidate that i press command j just to do that we can go in and just tidy up some of the timing a little bit <coughs> where a lot of these breaks were or in fact all of these breaks were recorded by real drummers there's always a bit of variation in the timing we'll just sort that out you might be tempted to leave this as well if i was working on like a smooth liquid tune i'd probably want it a little bit loose but just to show you guys how you could do it we'll tighten it up particularly if you're working on something that's a little bit techier or whatever you'll want it tighter into the grid and anytime I'm doing any editing like this I'll use beats mode for that for drums and we can shorten the decay as well if we set preserved transients one thing we can also do as well is change the divisions by which it cuts up. So we can change it to sixteenths or eighths. I'm obviously making this way shorter just so it's obvious. But I think transients normally works because you can kind of add your own markers anyway to match the hits. So So we'll do that again with the flow break. I'll do it a bit quicker uh, and we'll kind of reiterate all the various points. So turn warp on, find the end of where the one bar is. You could do two bars or whatever as well, but one bar and change to repitch. And then just check that. Then command J or control J to consolidate it. Switch to beats mode and just line our transients up. As I said, you might want to leave it loose, but you're going to want to make sure that your kick and snare are where you want them to be. And then we can adjust the transients here. This one will actually work fine on an eighth. And then we can just leave that and layer it over our break. take our two breaks and we'll just high pass them balance them a bit better and there you go instant vibey classic breaks layered over your kind of more modern hard hitting one shots easy any questions let us know and I'll see you in the next one.